Wouldn't it be great if you could win at the Grand National year after year after year? 40 runners, impossible race to pick a winner, and yet it is possible. Not only is it possible, but you can also win regardless of who goes on to win the actual race itself. Sound absolutely crazy? Sound ridiculous? Most people think it does, but it is actually possible. And if you want to learn out how, just wait a few seconds, listen to this video, and when you have done that, download a copy of Bet Angel and give it a try yourself. BBC Radio Barsha, 25 minutes to 11. Well, you'd need to be on Planet Zog not to know that it's Grand National Day today. But a man from Hook maybe has solved all our problems because Peter Webb has developed a scientific approach to gambling which he believes guarantees you a win. There are 40 horses running today in the big race. Can he, re can he really get us a winner? Peter has developed this software, but... Um, Peter, welcome to the programme. Thank you for coming in. Good morning. Um, where did you get this from, and was it originally applicable to the financial markets? Yeah, the, the concept um, was when you look at financial markets, mm. you look at a graph and you can see the price of, of a stock right. rising or falling, mainly falling, it seems, over the last few years. And um, when you look at the price of, of horses, for example, in the national or any other race... Uh, people try and anticipate if it's got a good chance of winning or if the horse looks good. Um, and you, the, the same sort of principles can apply if so you can anticipate. Yeah, whether you're you're also... basing it not on any knowledge of horse racing, jockeys, weights, distances, anything else like that. Just on assessing what the public perception is. Yeah, although sometimes, for example, if a horse is, is sweating up or doesn't look very comfortable yes, before sure, a, sure. a race starts, then it, its price will get bigger. So um, you can put as much... Uh, of racing into it, or as little as you wish, really. But basically, the concept is. There's an old, there's an old economic principle, is there not? I mean, I'm vaguely trying to remember my first arts economics lectures, a long, long time ago. That I, I think they call it the the pretty girl pageant syndrome, mm -hmm. which is, it's not necessarily the prettiest girl in the lineup that the judges will vote for. Mm -hmm but the girl that they think the public perception is of the prettiest. Yeah. That's, that's, so that's what you're actually saying. Yeah. You're, you're being driven by the price, which in turn is driven by the race goers who place their money. Essentially, yeah. So, but uh, they may know more than you do. Yeah, but what we do is we, we buy and sell eff effectively the odds. So if we think the price on something is going to get shorter and shorter, then we can... Are you actually doing that in the Grand National? Yes, I, and I've started already. I started first thing this morning. So the, what's, your, um, what's your best? You, so you're doing a bit of spread in there as well? Yeah, you know, if we think uh, there's going to be a lot of interest around sea bass, so we'll be keeping an eye... That's because Katie Wallace is riding it. Correct, yeah. Everybody, you know, it would be a nice story, wouldn't it? We sent off A to one favourite and finished fourth. Yeah. Um, you know, that's, that's the way it works, <laughs> it is. It? Um, but <laughs> if we think that people are going to start backing sea bass because of all of the media interest that happens this morning, then we can, we can back uh, sea bass at a high price and sell it back at a lower price and net the difference between the two. Right. Now we're at the kernel of your system. Yep. Your system is not necessarily to pick a winner. Correct. So people should be aware of that. But it is a foolproof system, as Peter has now explained, whereby if Casey Price's horse is now, I don't know, it might be 12 to 1. If Peter and his system think that it's going to go lower, what do you do? So... If we think that uh, the price on something is, is going to head lower, it's going to be backed heavily or people are going to start uh, betting on it, then we will actually back it at, at the price that's available. The current price. You'll, back current it, price. you'll, have, a, you'll have 100 quid or 12 to 1. Correct. Um, and then when the price starts to come in, then we will lay it back into the market and net the profit between the two prices. So it goes into 8 to 1 for argument's sake and you say, if this horse wins, I now have £1,200 in my kitty. So I tell you what I'll do. It's eight to one. Why don't you have a bet with me at ten to one? Yeah. So I mean, we'll, what we can we can do something really clever, which is we can actually then, if we've made a profit, uh, can spread the profit across the rest of the field. So when the national starts this afternoon, 
we would have identified several horses that are uh, getting shorter in price or getting longer, and then we would have locked in a profit on that and then spread it across the field. So when the national starts this afternoon... You can't I, lose. I can't lose. I would have won money already. No matter what happens. What, whatever happens. When that race starts, I can sit back and... But, OK, and let's go back to your um, imaginary £1,000 okay. at 10 to 1. So you've backed that at 10 to 1 with a bookmaker, presumably. Yeah, with, with a betting exchange, a bookmaker. Betting exchange. OK, okay. so there's £1,000 coming to the web coffers if this horse wins. Correct. You then offer it at 8 to 1. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, right. Now, what happens if somebody plunges in and has two grand with you at 8 to 1? That's 16 you'd be, your commitment would be. Yeah, but um, on a betting exchange, you uh, decide what price you want to back or lay at and whatever, how much money you want to do at that particular price. So you, you can control. You can never guarantee that you will absolutely, definitely get it right, mm. but the vast majority of the times you do. And on, on the national, where there's so much interest, it's, it's nearly always pretty much guaranteed that we will get it right. It, it is absolutely fascinating. It came from the financial markets. It's yep. gone into racing. Is there anywhere else it can go? Um, I mean, we do all sports. So yeah. if, if you look at uh, Gareth Bell, it fell and twisted his ankle on the Europa League match um, with Spurs mm. uh, on Thursday. So my immediate thought turned to this Saturday in the match against Everton and expected the price to uh, adjust to reflect that injury right. and the fact that Bale wouldn't be playing. So in the same principle that you use it on racing, you can use it in golf, in football, in a whole variety of different sports. And I presume that you have the inevitable website. Yes. That people can look at this phenomenon. There will be a lot of people out there who they, they wouldn't be rude and say, oh, this is all gobbledygook, but they might quite understand the principle. I'm not even sure that I... Well, I sort of understand it myself because I've been hanging around for so long. But what's the website? If you visit betangel.com... Betangel. Betangel, yeah. Right, we we'll um, find it all there. And that explains all of the detail on how it works and, and uh, how to do it. Peter, thanks very much indeed. It's an intriguing prospect. Um, um, we let you, it'll be interesting to see. Sea Bass is the one that you think now is the prettiest girl in the pageant. That looks, uh, looks pretty pretty at the moment, yeah. Quarter to 11, BBC Radio Berkshire. If you're interested in learning more about Bet Angel, visit betangel.com and download a free trial today.